Hey guys, okay, um, I know I just did a TTC video and you guys are probably wondering what's going on, but this is a, a special request um, video for one of my new subscribers. Her name is Courtney. Um, first off, I'm going to say I'm sorry for not um, getting back to you as quickly as possible. I've just been swamped with this move and everything in between. Um, but she asked me some questions and I figured instead of um, actually typing them out, which would probably be a very long process, um, I might as well just come on and um, do, these video, do this video for her. So she has some questions for me. Um, first question was, do you talk about um, any of your miscarriages in any of your blogs? Um, actually, I do. Or I... I did in the past, um, when I first started out, I did explain about my miscarriages and stuff like that. Um, I am, though, in the process of making a new video um, because I have new subscribers and I have, you know, I think I have like 80 videos uploaded or something like that around there. So, you know, I don't expect every single viewer, you know, my new subscribers to go back to my, my first videos to, you know, to check it out. So I am going to be doing a video on that. I'm just in the process of getting all the information together for you guys. I mean, I, I have it saved up here. I, I'm just trying to make it um, as clearly as possible because some people um, have had miscarriages in the past and some of the words that I use um, are different than some of the words that are used now because I had my miscarriage um, five, uh, going on five years already. So, you know, certain words probably don't click. I, I, I don't know. It's just, it's just weird. So I figured out I'm going to go back through the video and pick out the most key information and then just uh, re-record that. So be on the lookout for that video. Um, I should have it uh, by the end of this month. Um, another question is, how far along was I when I miscarried or felt that something uh, wasn't right? Um, with my first miscarriage, I was going on eight weeks. I was like seven, seven weeks and a few days. So I was very close to eight weeks. Um, it was on May 20, uh, 24th that I, that I miscarried. Um, it was right before my husband's and I anniversary of, of dating. Um, that day I had some cramping and, you know, being a first time, you know, first time, uh, pregnancy, I went into the emergency room thinking, you know, something could be wrong. They did a um, transvaginal ultrasound. Uh, we heard the baby's heartbeat for like two seconds. And um, they told us everything was normal. And the baby's heartbeat was great and stuff like that. Um, but then later that day, I, I miscarried. Now, um, when I went home, I had some brown discharge. So I'm like, what's going on? So I call back because I researched online beforehand. I went on MedHelp. I went on Baby Center. I went, I had a um, pregnancy Bible book. I still have it. It's at my other place. Um, but it told me, you know, brown discharge can mean miscarriage, you know, early miscarriage or anything like that. Um, talk to your doctor if you had any questions. So I called back the emergency room. Emergency room told me, oh, you know, nothing's wrong. It's just normal because he had a transvaginal ultrasound. It's just old blood, yada, yada, yada. So um, didn't really know that I miscarried. I don't know. I didn't know and I did know. Um, it was weird because I got sick to my stomach. And then, like, something told me that I miscarried, but I brushed it off. Like, something told me I passed the baby, but I brushed it off. I didn't think anything of it. Um, so, you know, I don't know. It, it, it's it's hard to explain. It's one of those, like, motherly instincts type of thing. Um, so I didn't actually know, get a confirmation that I miscarried until the next month uh, when I went into my um, OB, or to my midwife appointment, and I told her, I was like, look... I went into the emergency room. They were supposed to contact you and stuff like that and let you, let you know what happened. And, you know, um, I'm not sure if they did. And um, she checked the information. She called me back later that night, and she told me, um, I want you to go in for an emergency ultrasound. I went in, and all they found was a baby sack. So, um, 
you know, that's for the first miscarriage. The second miscarriage was weird because I say that I didn't know I was pregnant because of the fact that um, I didn't have insurance after I miscarried the first one. So I couldn't go back in there to get blood results to make sure that my hormone level was down. All they did for me was give me a um, home pregnancy test, like a month after I had the DNC. And the DNC was in June, so in July or August, they gave me... Um, a home pregnancy test and showed up negative so they're like okay well you're not pregnant so you must not have any hormones so I'm like okay whatever but I was still feeling like I was pregnant it was weird um they just told me because it was just an early miscarriage then my body will still act like that for a couple months and then finally you know um get back to normal so um in September when I actually got pregnant um again when I didn't know I was pregnant I had like a faint the faintest um, positive and I believe it was the first response um, but I didn't think anything of it because you know I was like well it could be that the hormones are still there so then later on that night I had um, a miscarriage um, or later on that night uh, onto the morning is when I um, actually miscarried and that one was more gruesome. There was more, um, you know, passing clots the size of footballs and stuff like that. I know, TMI, I'm sorry. Um, and then it says, after your first miscarriage, were you scared um, to have another? Um, yes, I was, most definitely. After my first miscarriage, it was hard. Um, I was young. I was only 19, so I didn't know what to expect. Um, nobody in my family that I knew of, other than my god sister, um, had miscarriages. Um, she had actually, she actually had two. Um, I had my second one a little after she had her second one, or I had my first miscarriage right, um, right after she had her second one. So, um, yeah, it was, it was weird. It's. You know, I was like horrified. I didn't know where to go. I didn't know what to do, who to ask for help, who to get, you know, that support. So honestly, I was extremely scared. And after the second one, I told my husband, I don't want any more kids. I don't. I was like, I, you know, I'm tired of things happening. And, you know, we strive so hard to try to get to one point and then it never happens. Um, so, um, but then, you know, after a few days, I'm like, okay, well, I guess we'll, you know, we'll, we'll try. So we've been trying ever since. Um, but other than that, I hope those answered your questions. Again, I am sorry that it took me a while to get back to you. But if you have any other questions, um, let me know. Um, I'll most definitely answer through via email, um, you can add me on Facebook. I'll put my link right over here on the side. I have a Twitter. You can follow me on Twitter. Um, I have a Blogspot account. Um, and, I mean, that's it. So if you have any other questions, uh, please let me know. Feel free to, to ask. Um, I see that you said um, your due date was February 16th. And, you know, um, you know, I'm, I'm sorry for your loss as well. Um, I do... Um, I do hope that you know you you get your miracle soon. I am praying for you, and I hope that um, you know. I hope that you find support. We're all here for you if you need us. Um, if you need any other additional information, questions, a support system, let me know. I can give you my personal email, and we can email back and forth to each other. Alrighty. Well, um, God bless, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.